Hello guys, today I'll talk about something that Elon Musk said. Total population collapse. And why I agree with him that total population collapse is worse than overpopulation. So you do not know, total population collapse is essentially the decline of population because of birth rates. Some countries are always starting to experience it. So many countries are projected to have the populations over the rest of the century. And, and beyond. Beyond. Countries like Japan, South Korea, uh, and many places in, in Europe are always starting to suffer, suffer the victims of total population collapse. E America is in that stage too, but they're more, but they're trying to find other solutions to total population collapse, which will backfire on our country, on our country and the wrong one. Considering the automation will come out will come around, meaning that adding all these Im immigrants is completely useless. But I'll cover that in another video. But even these countries where our immigrants are coming from will also face total, will also start to say, face total population collapse, collapse mid-century. This is the biggest threat to humanity, one of the biggest threats to humanity our population fixes. And there are many ways to solve total population collapse. Number one, Raise the birth rates. It is a simple thing. Many countries are below the average birth rate. Many countries in the Americas and many countries you would think that would have a higher birth rate are actually now going to low birth rates. Bangladesh, Mexico, India, China, Brazil, and many emerging countries are now starting to see become just like any other Western country. Wait. For example, Brazil has a similar birth rate to America, which is a 1.7. And Brazil isn't nearly as developed as America. But Brazil is going to suffer total population collapse, just like America is. Even the, even the least developed countries in the world in Africa are going to start suffering total population collapse by the beginning of next century. One easy way is to make the birth rates 2.1 for all countries. A completely stable population, which will be much more better than a total population collapse. Raps. Many countries have already attempted to do this, and such as Hungary and Japan. Japan. Many countries try to solve, like America, France, and Sweden, and the UK try to solve this by other means. But those other means will backfire in the future that has ruined the country's demog dem demography for the long run, essentially. So America, France, UK, and the Nordic countries, immigrants will not help your country. Eventually, these immigrants will also, people from these immigration countries will also in the future face a population collapse. It is something that is inevitable and needs to be dealt with. If we could just simply just raise the birth rate to just an average of 2, two I think total population collapse can be averted easily. Three, which is a which is the biggest threat, one of the biggest threats to humanity. Another way to prevent total population collapse is to find a way to reverse the aging progress process. Already tons of companies are already attempting trying to reverse this. They already reversed it in many animals. And we already have and there's already a genes for non-aging in many animals and even with generation in animals. So if we can carry these to us humans through gene editing, which is something that some people do not like, but if you really are so scared of gene editing, just go the normal way like everybody else. And don't have your genes added so we live longer. If we live longer, total population collapse can be utterly averted. It did. Can be utterly averted and utterly avoided. Cause yes, our population will peak at 11 billion, but it'll start to cry, it'll start dropping fast if we don't solve anything about the birth rate. Wait. Wait. If we don't solve anything about the birth rate problem or the aging problem, um, you're going to see a massive financial crisis in many of the world's most important countries. You're going to see a ma or no a massive financial crisis. I really work for the I really want the best for our, for this world. 
I want our world to thrive and stay healthy and happy. I don't want people to suffer. I don't want the world economy to suffer. That's because we can't bring up a birth rate of a country. So the second solution, if we really don't want to bring up the birth rate, is to end aging altogether. I've, what is better of a nation of eternal youthfulness, a nation full of eternal youth that will never age over, you know, never age and will not have any demographic crisis in the future, which will save trillions of dollars on age-related diseases because people will never get them again, and it will basically save the economy trillions of dollars and focus on other very important things in the future, such as space travel, saving our environment, the extinction of animals that we flew into extinction, so we won't feel guilty for killing them anymore, like the passenger pigeon and the Tasmanian tiger and the woolly mammoth. Yep. I believe that the reason why woolly mammoths are extinct is because of our selfishness. We made them go extinct. Extinct. Along with many other extinct wards and animals. If we didn't kill them off, they would still be around. And other very important things that we could put into our future. So, such as world peace and other good things that could benefit our country. But first, we need to strive for solution to total population collapse. And people are worried about overpopulation. Well, overpopulation can be easily solved by space travel. And really, 10 billion people is not a lot. 10 billion people can fit into the state of Texas easily. And also, we can easily solve the overpopulation is in problem and global warming all at once if we use our land more efficiently. The way we use our land is very outdated and needs to change. We can easily grow meat and plants in a lab. We don't need massive, massive farms to do it. The way we grow our stuff is very inefficient and there is going to be another revolution <coughs> to make food cheaper. And there's of course other plants that are going to produce food as well. We're going to have the first people on Mars by the end of this decade. They and 1 million people on Mars by 2050. And even moon colonies. You're telling me that moon and Mars is completely incapable of producing food? I think humanity needs to get their heads out of the, out of the sand and realize that the future is a very bright place. But we need to solve humanity's number one problem. As Elon Musk puts it, besides our super intelligent AI. Hi and global warming is total population collapse and how we can fix it all together. Yeah. I think we as a human humanity can overcome total population collapse. We can overcome it. We have overcome many problems in the past and will be able to overcome many problems in the future. So only total population collapse. So will happen will will essentially be gone. So yep, that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.